This is a very big deal. The Environmental Protection Agency just rolled back Obama-era climate rules for power plants, leaving states to set their own pollution standards. The move fulfills part of President Trump's promise to help the coal industry, but will likely face fierce legal challenges. CNN's Bill Weir with more. Before leading the EPA, Andrew Wheeler was a coal lobbyist. And today's rule change announcement made it hard to tell he ever left that job. The contrast between our approach and the Green New Deal were plans like it couldn't be clearer. Rather than Washington telling Americans what type of energy they can use or how they can travel or even what they can eat, we are working cooperatively with the states to provide an affordable, dependable, and diverse supply of energy. But in reality, American coal consumption is at a 40-year low, not because of regulation, but competition. For the first time ever, more power is being generated by cleaner, cheaper renewables. A free market trend President Obama tried to accelerate, tough carbon cap called the Clean Power Plan. But after several groups sued, a conservative Supreme Court majority kept those rules from taking effect. And today, the EPA killed them. Instead, they'll give states three years to come up with their own pollution standards. Our air and water are the cleanest they've ever been by far. That is a lie. In fact, the American Lung Association say things have gotten measurably worse in the last two years. Four in 10 Americans are now breathing unhealthy air. And according to a New York Times analysis, this is just one of 83 rules being rolled back on everything from toxic chemicals to endangered species to the climate crisis. So scientists can't help but worry. The people who have been appointed to uh, run the EPA are, are industry sort of lapdogs, um, close ties to fossil fuel interests and the Koch brothers. And what they've been trying to do is to literally roll back the environmental protections of the past half century. Dr. Mann is among thousands of Earth scientists around the world who agree that in order to save life on Earth as we know it, about 80% of known coal reserves need to stay in the ground. And of course, the coal they burn in West Virginia, those emissions don't stay in West Virginia, Allison. So it's, uh, it's not hard to imagine all of this ending up at court, maybe even the Supreme Court. Bill, thank you so much for bringing all of this to our attention. We want to bring in now Gina McCarthy. She's the former Obama EPA administrator who finalized the plan that is now being rolled back. Uh, Ms. McCarthy, thank you very much for being here. So what does it mean? Put it into plain English for the rest of us to understand what these coal rollbacks will mean for Americans. Well, what it means is that EPA really put out a remarkable rule. It basically acknowledged that climate change is happening and it's an existential threat to all of us. And then it did absolutely nothing to require reductions. In fact, it relied on where energy projections are about where the market is heading. It looks pretty good, so they decided they needed to do very little other than send a signal to states that they had to consider now investing in old chemical old coal-fired power plants so they could actually pollute more. It was a rather remarkable and, and frankly, not just disappointing, but uh, damaging proposal to all of us at a time when we know that climate change is real and we have to take action. Let's, so let's, it was nothing but a rollback of a real rule in place of some market projections and some promises for action. Let's look at the numbers of what the Trump administration has done, just to put a finer point on all of this in terms of their rollback. Yeah. So in terms of air pollution and emissions, drilling and extraction, infrastructure and planning, animals, toxic substances and the safety of those, water pollution, in terms of all of the things that Americans say are important to them, there have been 49 rollbacks completed. 34 in process, 83 total. And I'm just wondering, I guess, on a personal level, what it's like for you yeah. to watch your work for years be rolled back. Well, it, it, it's obviously distressing, but more because the mission of the agency is really about protecting public health and the natural resources we depend on. When they ignore science, when they fail to take action moving forward, when they tell us that our future is somehow to go back to dirty coal 
It just amazes me that they can sit in that agency at EPA and work with that career staff and not want to perform the mission they were given, which is to protect human beings and to keep us safe. This, this last rule that they put out yesterday was absolutely uh, an anathema to the mission of that agency. It was ignorant to science and it rejected real science action. Uh, and it, it really is going to leave us all vulnerable to more pollution, all potentially unhealthier and, and more unsafe. And it's going to make the U.S. continue to be the one country in the world that is admittedly not just doing nothing about climate, but trying to reverse the trend of clean energy and go back to pollution and go back to an increasingly unstable and dangerous planet. Yet President Trump describes himself as an environmentalist based on no evidence that we can find. Here's what evidence he gives. Listen to this. A report came out. Our water and our air today is cleaner than it ever was. Because in many respects, we're great environmentalists. I'm, like, I'm an environmentalist, but a different kind, a real environmentalist. But our water is crystal clean. Our air, it's the best it ever was. Your response? <laughs> I wish that were true, is my response. Uh, the challenge we face, I think, in the U.S., we've done a great job over the last 50 years while EPA has been on the job in making our environment cleaner. But we know we're far from being there yet. If you look at our international rating, we're nowhere near number one. We're actually number 27 in terms of our environmental performance. And while we've done a great job, we have to keep moving forward. And people have to understand that the challenge of climate change puts all of those things at risk, all of those things. It will increase air pollution. It will cause challenges in terms of water quality and quantity. It will create instabilities. There are real challenges we have to face today. We need real facts real science, a real agency that needs to be run by people that share the mission of that agency and make a real commitment. This president says a lot of things that are untrue. That's one of the biggest untruths that he can say mm -hmm. is that we're where we need to be and we're protecting our health and our population because yeah. we're simply not at this point. We're rolling everything back yeah. that we have relied on. Jim McCarthy, thank you for sharing your expertise and real knowledge with us. We appreciate it.